Well, we moved to from Texas to the Orange County in 1984, and we joined uh, Trinity Baptist Church in Westminster in 1985. And so, for about 29 years now, a little over, uh, we have been part of Orange County Southern Baptist Association. I, since uh, 2003, I have been uh, pastor of. Uh, what is now Grace Covenant Community Church. I actually have been a part of the same church since uh, since 1984. Don and I have been uh, connected with what was Trinity and then it became Turning Point. Uh, now it's Grace Covenant Community Church, which used to be <laughs> Brea Center uh, Baptist Church in Brea. Uh, we saw a, a kind of a, a request for, for people that would be interested in teaching ESL uh, in the division. And, associational newsletter and uh, it was about the possibility of uh, somebody teaching ESL to uh, Arabic refugees through this new organization called Voice of Refugees. Hey this is Joe Hall. I work with uh, Voice of the Refugees. I work here as the executive director and Larry and Don have been instrumental in the success uh, of Voice of Refugees. They have been our most faithful volunteers a lot of times coming two, three days a week uh, here at our school, but also the countless hours that they've spent outside of the school visiting the refugee families in their homes or inviting those same refugees over to their house. So Larry and Don have been uh, instrumental in the growth of VOR and the growth of our uh, ESL school as well. I saw it and I thought, wow, that sounds like something that Don would love to do. And so I suggested uh, that Don uh, look into that. And I think you called Monta Joe, who had put that bulletin out. And uh, then I met with Joe, with Joe Hall. And we mm -hmm. met with Joe together. We uh, met with him over coffee. And when we first started talking about working with Muslim people, I, I was kind of afraid. After 9-11, most Americans are afraid. And um, it just was something that God opened the doors. He had changed my heart so much after meeting the people and having the opportunity to, to get to know them and to build relationships with them. That we've been able to invite them to church and to um, just spend time with them going to their home and having them at our home. My name is Reem Sharshar. Um, uh, I came to VR and Pastor Larry is my uh, teacher. Okay. Yeah, I start, yeah, and uh, Miss, Mrs. Dawn also, she, she's my teacher also. Yeah, they're great teacher. I came here and my English is like zero. I cannot speak, I cannot communicate with anybody, but they help me a lot. They support me. I learn English, I can speak now, I'm working now. My life is different. They like. They support me like family, you know, like like not just like my teachers. They support all always like they yeah. They, they visit my home always if I have problem, they find solution, they always next to me, you know, always we contact with each other, always they pray for me, they yeah, even in my spirit they make me grow in my spirit, you know. And I'm so appreciate uh, I know Pastor Larry and Mrs. Dong, they changed my life. Thank Jesus. Things have definitely changed. God changes our hearts um, from fear to, to love the people that we've been working with. Um, I have a, a desperate need right now to share with them the love of Christ. And the only way to do that is through a personal relationship with them. You have to gain their trust to show them that, that we do love them and we do care. That if if we didn't take the time to do that, and I'm like, let me tell you about Christ. Well, let me tell you about Muhammad. Hmm. It doesn't get you anywhere. But when they see that you're different, they've asked us, um, why? 
why do you spend all this time teaching us? Or you come and help furnish our, our homes or you, um, the different areas we've been involved in. And to be able to tell them it's because of the love of Christ. My name is Caroline Musa. They're very, very nice people. Uh, she's like my sister. Uh, I love her so much because she, she's very, very kind with everyone. When anyone needs anything, you can take him, uh, talk to him like, uh, like a father, like a dad, like a big person. He's so kind with everyone. I'm already with them. Yeah, it's uh, like Don said, it, five years ago we would have never uh, predicted that we would be where we are right now. Uh, not in terms of the way that he has uh, shaped our, our hearts to, uh, to have a tremendous love and, uh, and compassion uh, for those that are, that are caught up in the, in the lies of Islam. Uh, we, have, uh, we have come to see that it is uh, Christ uh, that is the answer. Uh, we look for peaceful solutions between Muslims and, and Christians and between Americans and people from the Middle East and we recognize that, that Christ is the answer. He is the, he is the only true peacemaker and he's the only one uh, that can bring about the kind of, of um, uh, reconciliation uh, that, that we look for. And um, so God has taken us from the place of of helping us to learn to love and care about those uh, in our backyard through VOR. Uh, and now he has said, uh, I want you to go, uh, and I want you to go to them. And so that is where uh, where we we are now in this uh, new journey that the Lord is leading us on. Um, Don and I are going with SEND International as our mission support agency. A lot of people would ask why we are not going with the uh, with the IMB because we are definitely uh, lifetime Southern Baptist. But the reason is uh, that we feel called to a particular area of Europe in a particular city uh, where there where the gospel has not gone forth. It is a, it is an entirely uh, Muslim population, and it's an area that the IMB currently does not have any work. And uh, Send International heard our vision. Uh, and our and our desires, and they also uh, agreed to to be a big part of the support that missionaries need in order to go overseas. And so that's why we have chosen to go with Send International, and we feel com comfortable with that decision. Uh, this particular city that we're going to uh, has zero churches and 50 mosques, and we hope to be able to establish the first uh, church in the city. Um, and of course, uh, it'll, be, it'll be a Baptist church, uh, and so we're excited about that possibility. We will, well, I will be teaching ESL, teaching English uh, in our home and possibly in a school. And Larry should be um, working in the university, or it's like a possibility to be teaching business in the university. The first church is supposed to be started in the bottom half of our home. Uh, they want us to set up a two-story home, so the top half would be where we live, the bottom half would be our church. We have learned, working with Muslims in the past, that you can't just come out like in most, or most situations and share the gospel. You have to build a relationship. They have to be able to trust you. They've got a distress for Christians, much like we have for Muslims. And, um, you know, we definitely need prayer for those relationships to be built. Uh, we need prayer for the people in this particular city to be, for their hearts to be prepared for us to come and um, to start coming to, to the church when we are able to build that relationship and that we are fed while we're gone. Dawn and I know that when we go, um, we can't do this on our own. Uh, obviously, we know that the Lord has called us, and the Lord will go with us. But, but we need the um, we need to know that we go with uh, with the the prayers and the support of our brothers and sisters in Christ, and in particular, 
of course for us that means our, our associational Southern Baptist churches. Uh, we need prayer. Uh, we need many prayer partners. In fact, the, um, uh, the, the vision for our uh, the, the task in this city uh, is to have eventually have 1,000 prayer warriors lifting up this city as we begin this work. Uh, so that's one area that we definitely need the help of, of our brothers and sisters. Um, also, uh, we need financial support because we are going with, an, uh, with SEND. Uh, like most uh, missions agencies, they, are, um, they require that we raise our own support in order to, to be able to go. So we need to raise funds um, that will support us uh, on a monthly basis when we get there. And we also need to raise money in order to, to, to leave, to set up our home, to get a car, to get uh, set up uh, office equipment, those kinds of things. So we need financial support. Uh, we would love, of course, to be able to just share our vision and uh, what we believe that the Lord has, has led us to um, uh, in, in our associational churches so you can catch some of the passion, hopefully, that, uh, that we have and be a, a real uh, true partner for the work that God, that God has called us to. Well, we definitely need prayer, lots of prayer. Um, and. Um, Short-term ministry. If anybody ever sees that they're able to come out for a short term, a short time for um, working in the schools, um, just when we're there, we'll understand, of course, better what we can we can put out for people to do. But um, we are looking for, as Larry said, financial partners. Um, and definitely prayer partners. Yeah, one of the things that Dawn just touched on that uh, I think we're going to miss as much as anything, maybe not as much as our grandchildren, but as much as, as anything else, is, um, is the church. Uh, the church has been such a, the local church has been such a part of our lives uh, for so long uh, that the idea of going to a place where there are no churches and there are, um, uh, and there are, it's not a body of believers that gathers together. Uh, that's something that we're going to miss, and, and we really feel um, that it's important to be an extension of, uh, of, uh, of, our, of our local churches, uh, an extension of, of Grace Covenant Community Church, where we will continue to, to be uh, members there as, as we go forth. And so, Southern Baptists in Orange County are going to be a, a huge part of, of, really, of our ministry, and, and our hearts will uh, will will often be here uh, as we, the miles have, have separated us. We'd be glad to come and do a short presentation, either for your church or, or meet with the pastor or missions committee uh, in any way that we can communicate uh, uh, this vision that we believe that the Lord has laid upon our hearts, and and also uh, how you can be partners with us. Uh, we will set aside whatever time is necessary to do that. We'd love to speak, uh, speak at your church or at any opportunity that you could um, that you could give to us. Well, you can uh, you can get a hold of me through my uh, um, church and personal cell phone. I'd be glad to talk with uh, with you and have answer any questions that you might have. Uh, you can also contact us by email. The, the email address that Don and I will be using. Uh, you can also get a hold of us through the uh, association, the Orange County Southern Baptist Association, and they would be able to uh, get you in touch with us.